guys, it's Alex, and welcome back to the Suitsy channel. You get it? It's like, I did back. It's like, back. No? I really need to work on my puns. Alright, so this week's video, I'm going to be showing you four tricks to do on your trampoline. Don't know what to do on your trampoline? Click this video. Alright, let's get started. Trick number one. Butt belly knees back. Things to know for this trick is how to do a seat drop, a knee drop, a back, and how to do a belt. That one's my personal favorite. Alright, so first we're going to learn the butt belly. Alright, so when you do a seat drop, you normally go up. This time you're going to go forward. So when you do a seat drop, instead of going up, you're going to go forward. Well, you want to tuck. So when you do a seat drop, you're gonna go forward, but then you're gonna tuck your legs like this. And then you're gonna land your doggy drop position. Don't know how to do that? Click the basic tricks. All right. So you can use seat drop forward, and then you doggy drop. So you tuck forward. Now, obviously, when you tuck, you gotta untuck. So when you tuck, you're gonna untuck. But don't do it too quickly, nor do it too slow. But guys, we're not like the Goldilocks. All right. So you're going to want to do it on the right time. See, tuck, untuck it into your belly. All right? If you do your belly like this, like this, like this, it might help to go like this. And land in your belly. But I like to use my hands to push myself up, like this. And then I put my hands together. All right? So now we're going to do our knee back. It looks like like this. When your knee drop, you normally go up. This time, you're gonna go backwards into your back. Don't lean on your head, or don't lean on your spine. Lean on your shoulder blades. So, you're gonna go on your knees, and you pop back into your back. So practice going on your knees, and then using more momentum to pop back like this. Pop. And then don't forget, when you're on your back, make sure to kick like that. Well, I didn't do it very well that time, but just practice kicking so you have more momentum so you can get up. It might help to practice with less momentum because when you do your butt and belly, that will take up most of your momentum. So at first, you can practice with a lot of momentum and then go down to a little. So it's falling. Now for that, so it's like swing yourself back. So you go on your back and swing. Alright, so now let's do our butt belly knees. So instead of laying on our feet, we're gonna go knees, then feet. So we're gonna go our butt, belly, knees, up. Just practice that for a little bit. And now we're gonna add our back. All right, we're gonna get super high momentum because if we just go like this, then we're not gonna be able to land our belly. And that's not gonna be good. So really high momentum. It might take you a while to land it, so don't be upset that you couldn't land it on your first try. It took me many days of practicing to land this trick, so don't feel bad. All right, trick number two. This trick is called a knee handstand. It looks something like this. Well, you need to land it, so it looks something like this. All right. So, trick you to know for this trick is how to do a knee drop and a handstand. Alright, now let's get started. When you do your knee drop, instead of going up, you're gonna go forward. But your hands are gonna like your hands are gonna like go on the grip. So you're gonna go like this, and put your hands up. Your feet might kick up, they might not, but they should. When you're doing your knees and you're going forward, you should kick up your feet. Your feet should be in the air by the time your hands go on the ground. So if you go like this, then you have no energy from it. And this is not a good sign. Your feet want to be in the air like this. Up, and up your hands. Let's go. So every time you land on your knees, your feet, your hands should go up. Okay, so what you're going to practice is how to do donkey kicks. Donkey kicks look like this. Alright. So like I said, every time you're about to land on your knees, put your hands like this. Like this, up. Don't put them right when they land, like this. That might be a little bit harder for you, but it might be easier at the same time. 
Great. So now you gotta practice doing your hands and like this. You feel like you're falling and you simply roll over. Now you practice that. Let's practice the landing. Alright, so landing you're laying on your back and then pushing back up. So when you feel like you're falling, you're gonna wanna lift your hands up. But only when you're falling. If you feel like you're not falling and you lift up your hands, it'll look like this. <coughs> and you'll do a word around the belly. Either way, it'll hurt. So make sure that you only lift your legs, hands when you're falling, like this. Oh, remember, that was a mistake. My hands were too close to my face, and when I let go, I landed on my neck instead of landing on my back. So it really just looked like this. And pop back up. So then you're gonna land on your back, but your hands should be far away from your body so you don't land on your neck. And then your back, your shoulder blades, and you're gonna kick back up. It might take a while to land, but don't worry. It doesn't, you can't get on the first try. I mean, you could, but still, don't be sad that you couldn't land. So let's keep on practicing. That's all, practice makes perfect. All right, trick number three, the mid-air roundup. Wait, before we go on, you're probably like, what? Well, this trick might seem very confusing, but it's really not once you get the hang of it. So it looks like this. All right, so you probably should have round off. Your feet go like this. My feet were always together, because they should be. The trick you need to know for this trick is how to do a round off. If you don't know how to do a round off, it's basically a car wheel, but landing with your feet together. So a car wheel looks like this. And the round off looks like this. Great. So just practice your round off over and over again. Just go to like a video to watch how to do it or learn it on your own. All right, so now I can start. You're gonna be facing the pole. So, well, they don't have me, but I'm facing this pole. And you're gonna wanna go sideways, but not like this. So it looks like that. <laughs> that is not good. You're gonna wanna go like a foot or two apart. So if I'm facing my pole, I'm gonna wanna go on my entrances. So I'm not gonna be like this. I'm gonna have my feet facing. My hips are gonna turn like this. All right, so you're just gonna practice a simple kick. So like this. I feel like you need handstand. Your feet should be in the air, but sometimes your hand touch the ground. So not like this, but like this. All right, so there's a little bit of a pop. All right, have your hands up and then just practice your kick over. Remember, don't land the face the same way that you started. If I start here, I'm gonna wanna land here. If I start here, I'm gonna wanna land facing that way. All right, like this. Once you go wide and land on your feet, laying on your knees is just fine. Once you practice that, you gotta practice jumping. Like maybe it can be a big jump, or maybe it's a small jump. Press a little bit of jump and practice it. A tip to make it look good is to do it slowly. If you do your round up like this, then you don't even notice that it was above the ground. So you might want to do it slowly. This tip will really help you. So it should look something like this. Well, your legs should be straight like this. Alright, so obviously you want to get a little bit more momentum so you can go over. If you look, if you're going like this, with no momentum, that's not going to help. You're going to have some momentum, but not that much so you go really fast. Just a little bit. On that, to get you over. Right? So now that you've done that, you're going to want to put a little bit of a higher jump. Really high. And then maybe your hands, lift your hands up for a little bit longer. You might even end up doing an aerial from this. Go really high, and then do it. So now you practice that trick. Let's move on to our fourth trick. So this trick is very simple. It's basically a spy roll. Not a spy rule, a spy roll. Two different words. So the spy roll looks like this. One of how got his name. You know like the spy movies, like spies like roll over the lasers like this? So cool. I'm not sure this is my trick or someone else's trick. Right? So basically you can do a bouncing or no bouncing. No bouncing looks like this. Bouncing looks like this. Right? So what you're gonna do is that your 
hands want to be as far away from your body as possible. Not like this. Because that's like not very good. But um, your hands want to be really far. You might start going like this and slowly work your way to farther. So you might want to do a bouncing or no bouncing. So practice putting your hands as far as possible, and then you're going to kick over like a jumping handstand. Like this. And then kick over. Lay on your back like a roll. So this is like a somersault with your hands. Do you hear the somersault? Oh no. Just practice going like this first. Just a little bit of somersault. And then you can practice going further or standing up. And eventually, it might look like this. It might take a lot of practice or a little bit. You might learn it in like a week. You might learn it in a day. So that's the end of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and make sure to turn on the notifications so you get notified every single time I make a video.